Alrighty, everyone. Hello and welcome back to another Team England player profile. It is me, your humble astropath, Tom Lohman of Six Foot Plus here. And I am back again to talk all things England with a, a debutant, if you will, a brand new face in the England setup for this year. It is the one and only Chris Radford. Chris, how are you doing? I'm really good, Tom. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, wonderful. Thank you. Very excited to have you on. Uh, it's been really fun watching you kind of break through this year and obviously seeing all the work that went into it. And so very well deserved. Yeah. I guess because you're, you're the first person I've interviewed who's, who's actually new. So I want to ask you about that feeling. What did that feel like getting the news that you were going to be playing at WTC for the first time? Oh, that's incredible. Oh, I was so, so happy. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> so happy. As we was going through the, the stage, we were trying to find out basically who who was going to get in, yeah. and a few names that I've already mentioned you know, rumored they're they're in and so on. And when I I, I was like pressing Vic loads, was like am I in? Am I in? Am I in? <laughs> and I got a sniff. I was like maybe I might be. <laughs> so it, was, it was a a really good feeling. A lot yeah. of work went into it. Well, yeah, so it, was, it, was, it was like it a, really did. Yeah. It really did. And I think best, for you, best you, the point you came yeah, for you in particular, I mean, it was very observable that, you know, you worked very hard to stay very on top of where the game was at and useful archetypes and builds in the meta. And, you, you know, you evolved. Yeah. You played a lot of different things this year in the run up to make this team, right? You were, you were very versatile. Yeah. I think that was probably one of the killer things. Yeah, I think I played, I think before, before, um, before applying, I played two armies. <laughs> and then during the application process, I played four. Think yeah. at major events, so <laughs> yes, so, and uh, every event was different. Every event was a new army. Yeah, <laughs> it was, yeah, it was a it was a busy, busy process the whole year. Yeah, no, absolutely. I say, I think that's that's the kind of the kind of industry and effort that I think it takes, and I think it was really impressive. And so delighted um, for yourself and Boris that you both made it in this year. Really, really cool. Okay, right, we're going to get you into some questions yeah. now, Chris. I've got a few different ones. Um, so for the uninitiated, introduce yourself and when you started competing in forty k. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm Chris. I um, I started competing about three years ago. I think I went to my first event mm -hmm. around summer. Um, so I went to like as soon as COVID ended and we, the first lockdown restrictions were released, and there was like the first RTT. Uh, my very first game was against Manny Chima. <laughs> it was a bit of a jump into the deep end. Yeah. Um, and but I played 40k like before I was 10. I think yeah. I think my brother played it. It's a bit older than me. Um, so I've always had the models. Always been always been involved in in Warhammer generally. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, about three years ago now, nice. and I've, I'm local to like the Birmingham area and around near Glasshammer, which is how I kind of got into competitive gaming and, and mm -hmm. met Manny. I met Vic, played a lot of yeah. games against Vic, and uh, basically it's where yeah, it's where, where it all started for me. Yeah, I think being near to a really competitive kind of hub is a big deal. It really helps a lot of players really benefit yeah. from that. Um, and for yourself, when when did you become a teams player, Chris? And what was it like for you adapting away from singles towards teams? Uh, my first ever team event, other than what, other than a team event, which was basically a piss up. Um, <laughs> my first ever teams event was that one in Cardiff that yes, we were at. Really? That was, wow. That was my first ever team event, yeah. yeah. Um, which you won, I think. So, yeah, so literally, <laughs> I jumped into team. Yeah, she won. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we jumped into teams. Um, jumped into teams, literally for the Team England application. Um, but I did coach Ignite yeah. when I just joined Ignite as well. So I saw how how they prepared for it massively, and they put so much preparation in yes. to IDTs. Um, and I coached and saw like the, their final against England at the time. Yeah. Um, so I'd had like a had a good insight into teams uh, yeah. before the like, Cardiff event. Yeah, and straight in at the yeah. very the very high stakes level as well, which I think is is just there's nothing like yeah. it for getting a shortcut and getting involved at the highest possible level. Okay, as as for yourself, Chris, what yeah, would you say is, you know, is your proudest forty k career moment to date? You are allowed to say England, but if there's another one, obviously you can say that too. <laughs> it's 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 I mean it's it's, a, it's not a cop I want to say it generally it's getting into Team England. Yeah. Finally, I got into Team England was was my proudest moment, my my best moment was game by yeah. by a mile. Um, but anyway, Better than, better than anything yet, definitely. Yeah, winning the ITT was good as well. But yeah. winning the ITT, yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost my game in the final. Oh. So it's not quite as good. <laughs> yeah, it's always the relief, though, when, yeah. when your teammates come through, right? <laughs> yeah, it helps having Liam BSL behind you. Like. Yeah. <laughs> that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I, I have a couple of inklings as to what your answer to this one might be. What is your favourite 40k army and why? Space Wolves. I knew it. Definitely space I knew wolves. it was going to be Space Wolves. There we go. <laughs> I'm an absolute man. I've got a big couple of them behind me. Only Space yeah. Wolves in there. Yeah. Um, I think I de so. Space Wolves is my favourite army. Um, I first started playing when I started playing 40k again, like after university or whatever. I, I looked to play Space Wolves just because I really like the theme of them. Um, and then when I started playing them on the table, I realised I want to play combat. 
just combat. I don't like guns. Guns are boring. I just want to play <laughs> combat. Um, yeah. And it stuck with me. And I think I took them to my first like 50 events. I don't think I would have yeah. played anything but Space Wolves for, for over two years. Wow. Um, I absolutely loved them. Yeah, yeah. amazing. And then what, I mean, you've, again, you've alluded to it here, but what would you say is your 40K play style, Chris? Yeah, all, <laughs> completely different to what I'm saying to WCC. <laughs> yeah. For, for the other so, issue, Chris is on Grey Knights for WTC, which is yeah. a very different, very different mouthful to what he's used to. <laughs> so, so I like prior to, prior to getting in the English setup, I like combat armies. You know, ones that have a big punch, take take the board, have a lot of ball control. Yeah. Um. So that naturally, I'm on Grey Knights. Yeah. <laughs> they may have guns. Yeah. Can find themselves with not very much ball control at times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but, I was going to say, that's definitely the style we associate with you is much more assertive, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I, that's my general play style, but my play style's changed a hell of a lot, to be honest. Yeah. I, I like flexible armies. I like armies yeah. with, a, with a toolkit, a toolbox of stuff you can do. Um, I absolutely hate, I detest, and I don't understand how people play them, stat check armies. Oh, so boring. <laughs> yeah. An army, you know, it's like custodes. It's like, oh, let's four pin buns. I'm going to run forward. If I make them, I win. Yeah, not yeah. for me. That's no, so yeah. boring. Yeah, yeah. That, I, always yeah. Like, I like to be able to do a lot of damage, and I'm happy to accept also being killed in return. As long as we, as long as we get to hit each other, that's what I'm about. <laughs> I mean, you're Jakari. That's the extreme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the the purest version of that. But I think I actually think space wars are often a lot like that too, right? There's a real they were when I played them. Yeah, exactly. Real yeah. give and go in there. Maybe not the thunder yeah. so much. Maybe that's not your style no. quite in the, in the same yeah, way. Tell, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I love the Space Wolves are in WTC with Poland, a good team yes. that has a good chance of winning, yeah. but not this for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, to I totally get that. Um, who would you yeah. say, Chris, is your favourite 40k character? Oh, God. Um, it's got to be Ra Ragnar. Um, Ragnar, okay. But I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll confess, I do not know lore at all. Oh, you're not a lore I just boy. don't know it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know that he fought some orcs one time because I was a bopter of it. Yeah. Oh, I think Chris has briefly cut out here. Let's just see for a second. Oh, and he's back again. Hello. We had a brief, brief lost in the warp moment there, but he's back again. How are you? <laughs> You hear me? Yeah, I'm back. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. So Ragnar. What was the last? You, what was the last thing I said? We're talking about we're talking about Ragnar and the box set that he came out in. Yeah, yeah. So the only reason I actually know know that any any tiny bit of lore is because they um they had a five orcs and I, and I had to buy the box set <laughs> to get a Ragnar yeah. model. <laughs> very very good. He is awesome though. We love yeah. Ragnar. Um, and what would you say, Chris, is your favourite model you've ever painted, yeah. and why? Uh, probably the only model I put more than three colours on, to be honest with you. <laughs> and that'd be, um, that'd be, I've, I've got a really cool Thunderwolf Lord that I painted oh, yeah. that I really nice, liked. Nice, nice. Um, that I was a big fan of. And then I have a, um, a, what's it called? Uh, Noel the Stormcooler. Uh, painted that and yes, put, put a lot a of effort into it. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I, like I say, <laughs> painting's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I haven't put much effort into my painting at all. <laughs> yeah, we've got a, we've got a die in the wall comp player here, ladies and gentlemen. That's okay. He's going to the WTC. He's supposed to be a killer. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Those paints are alive. <laughs> <Use them. laughs> it's all right. We've got we've got Mick to talk all fluffy when he's on, so it's fine. We don't we don't yeah. don't, all, don't all need sorry, to wax Chris. lyrical all the time. All right, Chris. I feel like a cheat, a cheat to it. <laughs> <laughs> one more one more question for you. What are you most excited about for this year's WTC? What's in your head? What are you most looking forward to? Oh, there's, there's a couple of things. Um, I think generally I'm really looking forward to getting everyone together for Team England. Yes. Like yeah. our whole group, the players, the the, um, the coaches, everyone who's been involved in, in this really long process now, really, really long process. Yeah. I mean, it's what, like 18 of us going, I think? Yes, it's a big team. It's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely so fun. Actually, yeah, the night yeah. when we get there, it's going, to, it's going to be a lot of fun together. Yeah, a big meal together will be, be really, really good. Yeah. Um, I think that, and then I think do getting into the get into the big games, like getting into uh, Ireland round three. That's huge. Yeah. That's gonna be a really good game. Um, <laughs> and then we've got you know I've, I really want to play teams like America, Poland, and so yeah. on. And just when you start that first that first you start deploying, everyone's deploying, and you get your initial predictions and stuff, and you think about how you're going to start playing your game, and you're like 
how do I, okay, my coach needs in these 12, how am I going to get 12 of that game? That sort of thing. I, I can't wait for that. Yeah, really looking forward to it. There will be some showdowns this year. It's exciting. I feel like because yeah, of all definitely. the hype and content now, everyone knows everyone really well. There's a lot of a lot yeah. of sort of noise flying around. Everyone just wants to settle it on the table. Get, I am. <laughs> that Ignite chat has already got a lot of shit talking it. <laughs> I bet it has. <laughs> so I bet it has. <laughs> You you all keep talking to each other during WTC, then it's not complete silence. <laughs> I would rather die than Brian Sight be right, so we better be win. <laughs> Poor old Brian. All right, okay, Chris, this has been a delight. Thank you very much for coming on. Obviously, I'm going to see you see you in a couple of weeks' time, and I'm really excited to see how you get on in your first first ever WCC. I, I think you're going to smash it. It's going to be really fun. Excellent. Um, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for listening in. We'll be back with some more player interviews very soon. Obviously, do go and follow all the Team England socials. This will be going out over there as well. We're going to have live coverage of the game, so you might get to watch Chris on stream because David and Glasshammer is going to be streaming. So you might get to see Chris in action very soon, um, playing not Space Wolves, playing <laughs> playing a very different style of army. Um, so do come and follow that, and obviously do keep hitting. <laughs> like subscribe leave us a comment as well cool right we'll see you all again very soon bye-bye yes bye-bye